Okay, you're free. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna try to fill up this wire basket with mice from the barn. It's so large, we might even catch a rat. There's a funnel on top with spikes pointing down. You put bait down there, the mouse or rat will climb on the side, squeeze through the top, drop down, and then they can't get back out or they'll get jabbed by these spikes. Now this example here is a much larger version of a wire mouse trap I recently featured. I have many different variations of these. These have been used for over 100 years and that's because they work. The mice just squeeze down and then they're caught. So we're gonna set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see how many mice, or maybe even a rat, will go down in the wire cage funnel mouse trap. Well, based on the trail camera footage from last night, it became very clear that this wire cage does not function as a mouse trap. The mice would drop down, eat the bait, and then climb out through the space in the fingers on top. This is too big, so maybe it's intended for a larger animal such as a rat. We're gonna test out that theory by setting it up in a different barn that has rats in it. Let's go move the trail cameras to a different location and see what happens. Well, last night we got our answer. This trap does not work as a mouse trap. The gaps are too wide and the mice can escape, but it works well for larger animals such as rats. Here we have a pack rat. It's a native species and it's much different than the non-native invasive brown rat that you see in cities. It has larger ears. Its ears are pretty tattered because they fight with each other and chew on the ears, it has long whiskers and a cuter face. It almost reminds me more of a tree squirrel. These are semi-arboreal, they'll climb up in trees, they make huge nests out of sticks. Because what we caught is a native species, we're gonna set it free. I actually like these wood rats, they have a pretty mild temperament, they don't try to bite you. You can tell it's a wood rat because the tail is much more furry than a brown rat that would be almost naked. So let's take this cage with our wood rat out in the wild and let it run away to its new home. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, you're free.